Despite the economic crisis savaging Europe, the aviation industry appears in full health. The 50th edition of the Bourget Air Show in Paris is drawing record punters, and there have been announcements of new contract airliners every day. Airbus opened affairs, signing with Lufthansa for 100 A320 aircraft for short and medium haul. The plane combines the new A320neo with the current generation CO and is equipped with aerodynamic sharklets for greater efficiency. When we add the CO's with the sharklets, we gain all the environmental and fuel burn improvements, not all of them, but a large proportion, we already gain it today. Whilst Airbus has also signed contracts for its A380 Super Jumbos, Boeing has tied up massive deals on the 787 Dreamliner and Boeing 737 models. After some initial problems with overheating batteries, the Dreamliner has emerged as one of the stars of the show, and Qatar Airways already have six orders for this most majestic of beasts. The 787 is uh, our new aircraft and it's very luxurious. The seats are different from the other aircrafts. They are facing from the other side and um, we can provide them a five-star experience on board. The same applies for the pilots who can also expect some extra comfort. Well, it's a totally new technology and different than other aircrafts. It's uh, kind of easier to, wa to walk uh, it's like more computerized than other aircrafts. British Airways had been one of the first to snap up the A380 Super Jumbo, but had opted to only receive its models earlier this year. They previewed their new wares in miserable weather, which initially threatened to halt the accustomed daily aerial performance. Le Bourget might not conjure the same romance as it once did. The magnificent men with their flying machines have been largely replaced by aircraft sales officials and PR experts, and nobody smashed the sound barrier this year. But the air show still attracted 2,200 exhibitors from more than 40 different countries. Amongst the many highlights, audiences could be found swooning at the sight of an A400M soaring overhead. After some initial problems with the aircraft's engine certification, delivery of Airbus's celebrated first military transport aircraft to the French Air Force is finally underway. <laughs> Equally impressive were the French aerobatic team, which trailed the aircraft in order to mark its inauguration into what remains the greatest aerial show on Earth. Bienvenue à tous.